friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it's meal prep day. Before we jump into this week's meal prep, if you did not see my video that went up yesterday, Sunday, I officially have released one in a series of four recipe eBooks. You guys ask me for recipe books all the time, cookbooks, and I thought that this was the easiest way to get you a ton of recipes at the most affordable price. The first book I released yesterday is a breakfast recipe eBook. There are 15 breakfast recipes, points for all plans and calories included, and it's only $15. All you have to do is head over to my website to purchase. I will go ahead and link it down below. Don't miss out. This is such a great tool to have so you have easy recipes on hand. So again, I will go ahead and link that down in the description box below. Along with nutrition coaching, I offer personalized to you macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things as well as my Facebook group are also down in that description box. We'd love to have you come on over there and join us as well. Don't forget to snag a breakfast recipe ebook. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for meal prep. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. So let's jump into this amazing meal prep. I'm so excited for this week's breakfast. I am making copycat Starbucks bacon and grew air egg bites. These are really high in calories, really high in points on, at Starbucks. So I'm going to recreate these. They're going to be just as delicious and they are way lower point and calorie and honestly pretty easy to make. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need salt and pepper, of course some eggs, low fat or full fat cottage cheese, hot sauce, center cut bacon, and light shredded cheese. The first thing I'm going to do is pop this huge sheet pan of bacon into my oven. Troy asked that I just cook all of that huge pack of bacon from my grocery haul. I only need about four slices for this recipe, but I'm going to cook all of the bacon. So what I'm going to do while the bacon is in the oven is I have a kettle here. I'm going to bring this water to a boil. We're going to make a steam bath, so to speak, for these egg bites so that we don't have to have the sous vide equipment that Starbucks has and they should come out that pillowy texture and as delicious as Starbucks. Also, while the bacon is in the oven and our water is coming to a boil, we're going to prepare the actual egg bite mixture. It is done in a blender. So the first thing we're going to do is add six eggs. And then I'm adding one and a third cups cottage cheese, one and a quarter cup light shredded cheese, about a teaspoon of hot sauce, and some salt and pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and blend this up. We want to blend this really well for about 30 to 45 seconds. So here is what our egg mixture looks like. If you don't like cottage cheese, you will not even notice it in these egg bites, but you're going to get all of the great protein benefits from that cottage cheese. So I have my muffin liner here. I'm going to fill each of the little muffin cups about three quarters of the way full with the mixture. We want to make 12 egg bites total. To this nine by 13 baking dish, I'm actually going to add that boiling water. I wanna fill this up halfway to three quarters full with the boiling water. And then this is going to go on the second shelf in our oven. So here's how I have my oven laid out. So you can see that I have that middle rack in the middle of my oven with the egg bites. And then right below that, I have that dish with the steaming boiling water, which will help cook the egg bites. And our oven is set at 300 degrees. I also just pulled the bacon out reduce the heat. We're going to allow the egg bites to cook for about 20 to 23 minutes or until the eggs are set. 
I just pulled out the egg bites. I do have my four pieces of crumbled up bacon. While they're still soft, I'm going to just pop a little bit of bacon on top of each of the egg bites. You can also put the bacon on before they cook, whatever your preference is. I'm just kind of poking the bacon down into the bite just so that it stays. So here is what the finished Starbucks copycat bacon and grew air egg bites look like. I'm going to pop these out of my silicone muffin pan here, get them into a storage container so you can see what the final product looks like and we'll go over points and calories. So here are the completed egg bites. Look at these. They are absolute perfection. I did taste just a tiny bit of the egg mixture as I pulled them out of the muffin pan. Amazing absolutely amazing. I taste zero difference between these and Starbucks. And these we made at home for a fraction of the price. Two of these little egg bites at Starbucks is $5. So this is just so great that we can make these equally as good at home. So each one of these little egg bites on the blue and purple plan are only two points, two points a piece. So you can easily have two, if not three of those for your breakfast. They are four points per egg bite on the green plan because we do have to count two points for the egg. They're only 106 calories a piece, packed with protein, packed with flavor, and better, dare I say, than Starbucks. For my lunch this week, I'm making buffalo chicken roll-ups. This is a drizzle me skinny recipe. I'm so excited for these. My husband doesn't like buffalo anything, so I like to do that for my lunch prep so that I can enjoy it all week long. So let me show you what's in our recipe. This is such an easy one to prepare ahead of time for on track lunches. I'm going to be using the Kirkland or Costco brand of cooked shredded chicken. Now you can always cook fresh chicken up and shred that, whatever your preference is. I'm going to be using this because it's so quick and easy. And then you'll need some buffalo sauce. I have the Primal Kitchen. You could use Frank, any of the buffalo sauces, some light shredded cheese, light ranch dressing, wraps of your choice. Try to stick with one or two point wraps. These are La Bandarita carb counter and these are one point a piece. And then you'll need four ounces of softened one third fat cream cheese. So let's get started on some buffalo chicken wraps. Now we're going to put together the buffalo chicken for the roll up. So I went ahead and drained both cans of the chicken. And then I'm just going to shred that up just a little bit more before I add in the rest of my ingredients. We're going to add four ounces of the softened light cream cheese, one half of a cup of light shredded cheese, quarter cup of the light ranch dressing, and a quarter cup of buffalo sauce. And then with a fork, you're just going to mash this all together until it's well combined. Make sure your cream cheese is softened at room temperature. It'll make it a lot easier to mix everything together. So to put the roll-ups together when you're ready to eat them, it's very simple. Take your tortilla and then you're going to take about a quarter of your chicken mixture and you're just going to spread that into a thin layer on the tortilla. Make sure that you leave enough room on the edges, about an inch or so from the edge, just so that it doesn't spill out when you go to roll this up. And then you're going to roll this up nice and tight. So I'm kind of pushing it as I roll it, just so that I'm able to get a nice tight roll on it. And then I'm going to push to move that mixture a little closer to the edge now that it's rolled up. And then with a sharp serrated knife, we're actually going to cut this into rolls, kind of like the ones you buy at Costco in the meat section that are pre-made up for you. That's basically what we're recreating here, but just a healthier version. Here is the size of the roll, what it looks like in the middle. It looks so, so delicious. So here is what the roll looks like once you've put the chicken mixture in, you've cut it into rolls. We're actually going to put this in our refrigerator to allow this to cool for about 20 minutes. It'll help firm up the rolls. So what what I would recommend is about 20 minutes or so before you have lunch, whether it's at home or at work, that you go ahead and just pop it into the fr fridge so that it has a chance to firm up. So let's go ahead and go over the points and calories. The entire recipe makes four servings, so you're going to use four tortillas, and like I said, you're going to take about a quarter of the chicken mixture per tortilla. Each buffalo chicken roll-up makes one serving, and it is only six points on the blue 
and purple plan, seven points on the green plan for the entire thing, and it is 239 calories and packs over 18 grams of protein. So I'm so excited to just whip these up super quick for my lunch for the week. For a snack and or sweet treat this week, I'm making monster cookie inspired trail mix bites. These are going to be great portable, satisfy that sweet tooth, but be packed with good ingredients. So let me show you what's in this week's snack and dessert. First, you're going to need some salt, creamy peanut butter, chocolate chips, I'm using lilies, rolled oats, roasted salted peanuts, mini M&Ms, honey, and raisins. So to make the Monster Trail Mix Bites, we're literally combining everything together, starting with one cup of rolled oats, a pinch of salt, one quarter cup of raisins, which ends up being just shy of two boxes, one tablespoon of honey, one quarter cup of chopped peanuts. I used my handy little chopper off of Amazon. I will go ahead and insert a picture here and link it on my Amazon store for you. I'm obsessed with it. And then I counted out 120 Lily's chocolate chips, one quarter cup of mini M&Ms, and one half of a cup of creamy peanut butter melted. And then with my spoon, I am just going to mix everything together. The melted peanut butter and the honey is what's going to bind these little energy balls together. So do not skip the peanut butter or the honey or you will have no binding agent for the little energy balls, not to mention the peanut butter is going to give you a good amount of protein and healthy fat as well. So here is what your mixture is going to look like. We're going to roll this into 12 equal balls. And here are the Monster Trail Mix Bites. These are really, really good size. The entire batch made only 12 of these. They are six points on all plants, purple included. By eliminating the rolled oats, it did not change the points and they are 170 calories per little ball. And like I said, this is a great energy snack, sweet treat. It can even be your dessert and it's a nice clean with the exception of the few mini M&Ms sweet treat or snack. Thank you so much for joining me for another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Everything is incredible. I mean, every single one of them is amazing. I've had them all. And this is, I have to say, one of my favorite meal preps I've done overall in a really, really long time. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for my new breakfast recipe ebook, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and don't forget to subscribe. We'd like to have you join this community as well. Thank you for watching and happy Monday. Bye friends.